Hey there, hello, hello, hello. I wanted to take today to give you a seriously effective guideline at how to actually get quick results from your various business ventures. Now, most people get stuck at the beginning of their business at the planning stage where they basically sit with themselves and think, how do I get this done? Who am I going to market to? How do I market to them? What exactly will be the product? And what I found is that the more time you actually spend planning, the less effective you'll usually be. So you wanna actually get from the idea to the actual execution as fast as possible. And the way that I go about this is called modeling. Basically, instead of figuring out something on my own or having the audacity to think I can just come up with something and it will work, or even having the obliviousness to not realize how much time it's gonna take until you figure something out through trial and error, the best tactic you can use is to actually take something that's working well already, copy it completely, uh, while of course making it your own, but also remaining as, as close as physically possible to the original structure, and then gradually taking away the things that you don't want and, and seeing if the results stay consistent. So for example, imagine we apply this same uh, idea, the same tactic to a diet. So your diet is a very big factor of how much weight you're gonna gain or lose. And let's say that you wanna lose weight. Now, are you gonna start just researching online? Are you gonna start uh, writing your own diet? No, what's the best thing you can do is to take somebody with your own body type and lifestyle and just as similar to you as possible that has a diet that works really, really well for them. And you wanna take that diet, copy it exactly. It will give you a very similar result that will give you the confidence that it works. And then gradually you can start taking things out and adding things of your own and you'll see if it affects that or not. So let's say that you really love broccoli, but this other person doesn't eat broccoli. Maybe you should copy him exactly, and then if you see that you're getting the same results, now you can actually add broccoli or takeaway, see what happens. If you see a change, that means that one of the ingredients you took out was important. One of the ingredients you put in somehow uh, ruins the formula, and that means not to do it. So. You never wanna to be too smart to copy what other people do. And as Picasso says, uh, good artists cop uh, copy, great artists steal. So let's say we do that for business. The way we go about this is we go to our competitor's website or not necessarily even competitor, just person you wanna be like. So you go to their website, you check out their content, you check out their funnel, and what you want to do is to go through their funnel, their sales funnel. So you pretend to be a customer and you see the exact process that people take for them, for it to work. And now let's say you need a website. The best tool that I can give you is to search on Google without ad block and go to like the ten, top 10 uh, websites that show up in the ads. So the Google ads feed, because people who pay a lot of money to get on the top of the feed, that means something must be working. Now, some skeptics will say, oh, you know, maybe they just spend a lot of money, but it's not working. Like, sure, that might be the case with one or two websites, but if you take 10 websites, you'll be able to easily fish out the one that, work, that looks and, and just feels the best, and it's very obvious why they're number one. So for, let's say, for example, you wanna do a media agency. What you wanna do is search media agencies on Google and then go to the top 10 websites that you find, again, top 10 ads on Google. You open all of them, you find the one that looks the best to you, although be aware that some of them, while not looking the best, they actually perform the best. So some websites look very flashy and they're actually very good, but some websites don't look good, but they're extremely effective at getting sales. So you always want to have some common sense about it. How do they actually get their traffic? Just think about it. But again, if they're using Google Ads, that's a good indication that it's a very simple traffic. Because again, if you search media agency on Google and somebody's ad comes up at the top, that means that they pay a lot of money to make sure that they're at the top, which means it's probably very profitable for them. So then the next step you do is actually copy the entire website, pretty much an exact copy. 
Now, this is an art form that I'll get into in the future and actually take some skill. I do that professionally. If you need that, contact me. And once you've copied the website exactly, you wanna make it your own. So you change things about the website to make it more uh, for you. So if your company name is different, you change the name. If the logo is different, you change the logo. Now, we're not trying to copy, to steal content. We're trying to take the essence of it. So you can have the same design, the same colors, everything is legit. There's no copyright to it, but obviously you can't copy somebody's content. So you want to make it your own, but you can copy uh, other than that as much as you want. So once you do that, you have a website that is now the same website, basically the same functionality and feel as a website that's probably got it like thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars invested in it, in improvements, in tracking, analytics, uh, you know, in an attempt to make it the best. So when I've used this strategy for clients of mine, for their landing pages and their websites, we actually found that sometimes I could even get higher uh, closing rate than anything we've imagined. So for example, I work with a, a startup that connects nutritionists with regular customers and it's just kind of like Airbnb, but for nutritionists. And what happened was they had a landing page for nutri nutritionists. So we actually took a very successful landing page uh, that works for kind of the service field. So I knew it's a very tangential and I copied it exactly and then made it their own. So where maybe there was a picture there, I put a video, there was a small headline, I put a big headline. So I kind of changed a bit of things, but I still kept the exact essence and they managed to get about 50 leads in the first day, much more than they have anticipated. And I knew I was very confident about the results because again, I'm taking the exact design and marketing tools from an existing asset. So I know that it has to be at least somewhat uh, working uh, versus, for example, when you start something on your own and you you know just try it and you get no results. So again, modeling is the best thing you can do in, when you start a business or in any area of your life. You want to take what's working and copy it. People don't pay enough attention to it and I recommend you start doing it today. So let me know what you think if you have any questions and I'll be happy to help you next time.